Hi, I'm Brandon, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. You clicked on the blue thumbnail, which means you're here for How To Art, the place where you... the segment where I show you how I do my art. I post every Saturday and Tuesday. Just remember, I'm not traditionally trained as an artist. There are many ways to create, but this is how I do it. Brush is ready. Let's dive in. Today I'm demonstrating the yellowfin surgeon fish. I start with my line drawing, then work on the background. For this painting, I'm placing rough areas that will become coral. I don't want to spend too much time here. I'm just placing the coral. I also don't want too much detail in my background. I want the fish to be the focus. I use a larger filbert brush to mark and shape the pink and the purples in the coral. The filbert is great for having sharp sides that fades and blends well with other pigment. This allows you to fill in paint to a point while fading out behind it. I want there to be depth in the coral, so I let the brush go in natural motions. I am trying to achieve an unfocused, organic shape that I can build with lights and darks. I fill and blend the dark portions with black to create depth. I let that layer dry and move on to my blues for the water. I am trying to get a smooth background so I don't need to cover it again. Once that was done, I moved to some highlights on the coral. Notice that I'm not using bright white. I'm trying to build layers and complexities in the coral itself. I used to believe that I could not be an abstract painter. I wanted everything to have a place and to look like something. But, as I've been painting and replicating nature, I have turned into an abstract art painter. There aren't specific ways to paint a fish, or water or coral, you just have general guidelines and movements and feelings and textures. But not a fish shape or a rock shape or any other specific shape. I also need to know where my light source is coming from and how it will interact with the environment. This plays a huge role in the waves. I found that I was a bit too loose and messy with this painting, but I did have fun making it. I had to go over the fish with white primer to keep the colors and textures that I need for the future. Now I'll work on the fish. Since I work in acrylic paints, I need to work very fast to blend smooth surfaces. I took dark, medium, and light blues and painted in the body of the fish. I make sure to get muscle structures and lighting correct by looking at my reference photo. After I'm satisfied with the blend and color of the body, I work with dark colors including black and mix it with my dark blues. These colors will be my deepest shadows. I work with my white primer again to prepare for the bright yellow. I could have left the spaces white from the previous layers of primer, but I didn't want to worry about them. I need to use white in preparation for my brightest yellows. If I paint yellow on top of the blue, then they have turned out green. This isn't the green fin surgeon fish, it is yellow. The yellow fin surgeon fish has tiny markings on its face. I used a liner brush to get the general maze-like patterns on its skin, but some, pit, some bits were too tiny for me to replicate in this small size, so I eliminated them. I started with my brightest yellows, then work with thin layers of brown over it to create the shadows. It looks like I am working in random sections of the fish, well that's probably because I am, uh, but I am also working with similar color fields. This technique allows me to work quickly while letting previous layers of paint dry. When I feel the paint get tacky or I have covered areas I'm working on already, I stop. I let these layers dry to the touch for a couple of hours. This makes sure that I don't pull any previous layers up with new paint. Usually I leave the eyes until last. I was planning on doing this as well. The eyes are the most important part of giving the, the uh, painting a character. It brings the subject to life. I stood back and looked at my painting from a few feet away and decided it needed something to tie the coral colors into my piece. 
So I mixed up new coral colors and added them to the bottom of the fish. This gives the illusion that the pink light is reflecting off the coral onto the fish. I'm pleased at how the fish looked. I added my brightest highlights. These are done with white and are done sparingly. I finished the painting off with glitter on the coral and waves. Then call this painting finished. Thanks for watching this video. I just want to let you know that I'm selling my t-shirt. It's a Christmas t-shirt. It has a seal. I'll put it here. You can find it at teespring.com forward slash dockthehalls. They are $20 and they come in men's t-shirts, women's v-necks, and long sleeve tees. The money that I raise for this uh, campaign goes to help this channel. It helps me get more supplies and more art so I can entertain you guys. I also sell art on my website. I sell originals and prints. For prints, just send me a message at the email down below. I also want to thank you for being an active member of this community by leaving likes, comments, shares, and subscribing. If you haven't already, go check out last Saturday's video. I'll leave a link up in the eye. Happy creating and God bless.